<laughs> Nimoy Delgado was raised in a Hindu household that abstained from eating meat. Now, one of his biggest claim to fame is even to this day, Nimoy has never consumed meat. You don't get an award for that. I don't know who's walking around with a clipboard checking if people eat meat or not. Dietary choices are a personal thing and it should stay that way. The only problem I have with veganism and vegans is that satanic cult-like mentality that kind of taints the entire movement and I just really can't take it seriously sometimes. However, I am getting a few vibes that Nimoy feels a little bit superior to we omnivorous folk or carnivorous folk if you're filly on. Veganism definitely has its health benefits and its place in this world. I'm not here to dispute that. I'm here to clean up this industry, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, of fake naturals. For those of you that have been watching my videos for a while now, you'll realize that some of my videos, I just blow things out of proportion and focus on comedy, while others, I take a more scientific approach. I'm not a comedian or a scientist. However, my third eye of truth has this uncanny ability to just hunt bullshit across all of the realms. Let's take a look at an interview with Nimoy and see if we could spot any flawed logic or red flags. It's gonna make you work out harder, you can work out more frequently, you can build muscle faster, you can lose fat faster. So, I mean, it's a win-win for me. You look juicier than a skirt steak on a hot summer's day, my guy. No amount of protein-filled vegetables or animal products are ever going to get you looking like this. Mm -hmm. So, I, I tell people all the time I have the best kept secret in bodybuilding. No, 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 no. Your best kept secret is actually being a fake natural. I'm recovering faster, getting stronger, quicker, faster, and stronger. Recovering faster, getting stronger, quicker, faster, stronger. That sounds like a Daft Punk song to me. What are the main criticisms you get? The steroids. Oh, there we go. The golden word I was looking for, steroids. I wonder why, Nimai. I wonder fucking why. <laughs> that's the, that's right. the biggest one that I always get. People don't believe. First of all, people don't have never seen a vegan bodybuilder. Holy shit, there's a vegan bodybuilder. A mystical unicorn-like creature. I've never seen those before. There are other vegan bodybuilders in the world. They may not be at his level. Maybe because he's uh, taking something. Or, you know, taking more of something than other people. It's not that he's just eating more broccoli and spinach than them. That's not how that works. Right, you how know? long have you uh, been, like, clean for then? This absolute barbarian. Did you guys catch that? This fucking savage... Looks down at his feet, back to Nimai, and he's like, So how long you been clean for? Right, how you long know? have you, uh, been, like, clean for? That? Bruh. He got him! He fucking got him! Have you ever taken steroids? No, I've never, never had to. That's the thing that people don't realize, is I, 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 I've never had to. Nimai's actually quivering in his boots at this point, and he's like, I've always been natural, I swear! This fucking guy knows it! We need to get him on here. He knows Nimai is not fucking natural. <laughs> They don't see the years that I've been working out. They don't see the amount of dedication, sacrifice I put into the gym, how much sacrifice I put into my diet, when I'm when I'm traveling, everything is accounted for. These are the buzzwords that we are looking for. Hard work, dedication, consistency. You don't work as hard as me. Or you spend one day with me, you train one day with me, and you realize this guy knows his stuff. I'm an engineer. Quick little engineering plug, quick little humble brag. Oh, I'm an engineer. That means that I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to bodybuilding because my body is a machine. Yeah. I research things. That's what I do. I research it and make it efficient. Nutrition's no different. Your body is a machine. I'm a mechanical engineer. You just learn how the machine works and you feed it the right fuel, you know? So that fuel is, is, is plant-based foods. And whatever fuel I put in there, you know, it's going to increase my performance. Well, my guy. Yes, your body may be a mechanical machine, but the food that you're putting in is chemical energy. So you should be a chemical engineer if you're going to make this argument. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's such a stigma behind bodybuilding, which is a very sad truth. There are a lot of guys that are taking stuff unnecessarily. Can you tell when somebody's... Yeah, I've been around the sport long right, enough right, where there's right. certain indicators. Yeah, yeah, I've been around some guys. I know what to look for. I know the signs. I know the triggers. Yeah, I, I know when people are on roids. Because if I do do it and compromise my own morals, then it negates everything I'm trying to do for the vegan movement. Because it basically says it doesn't matter if you're vegan, if you do steroids, you can build muscle. He just said it. <laughs> Isn't that not proof? He's like, I, I really can't come out publicly and say this because then my vegan bros, you know, my veggie heads, they're going to be all pissed off. He just said it. Okay. I started off my career in the natural tested leagues and what I found very quickly is that I, I won the show, I won the shows that I was doing 
and there was there was not enough competition and not enough exposure. I mean, my vegan superpowers allowed me to just completely obliterate all my competition. I won that shit like one, two, three. Get me on the IFBB stage with my boy Uzoma. Another reason is that I compete in the IFBB, which is an untested league. The IFBB is an untested league, meaning that he's competing against people who take steroids. And he's, he's playing it off as if like we're dumb enough to just be like, oh yeah, you know, there's a few guys taking steroids. Everyone in the IFBB is on steroids. Everyone. Every single person. To get to that level, you have to be on steroids. No, I mean like seriously, how dumb do you think I am? You're competing against other drug users. And you're gonna say that you're, you have a, a chance of winning against them because you eat vegetables and fruit? They're eating vegetables and fruit too! And meat! I have to go where the exposure's at. The league that's gonna allow me to get to Olympia because that is my biggest stage. That's the biggest stage in bodybuilding and if a vegan can make it up there without taking steroids, without eating meat or any kind of animal products, it's gonna make a statement. Right, and what's the journey gonna be like to get to there if you do? Is that again, what's four year? Oh, year hopefully thing, this or? year. Oh, I'm okay. Go. I, I, I've got the team on my back. No, 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 no. There's one person who has the title of having the team on his back and that's Darren Sharper. You ain't got nothing on Darren Sharper. How is he running with a broken leg? I put a team on my fucking back, though. I'm done with that vegan propaganda of a video, plant-based news or whatever. Let's take a look at Nimai's Instagram and see if we could find any other indications or evidence as to why he is on steroids. This is the issue, right here. This is what pisses me off. Is that burger worth it? Ask anyone in a hospital bed. Fuck off! Let people live. Maybe we don't want to live until we're 113 looking like an actual scrotum. Maybe we want to eat meat and we are very aware of every single health implication that eating meat might give us. By the way, when I'm in my hospital bed, I'm still gonna be busting fake natties because I got to make that kashish, my man. All right, let's take a look at some other posts. 100% meat free, never eaten meat. I give you my mushroom stamp of approval, my guy. Let's play a game. This is Stephen Cow, a fellow IFBB competitor. Natty or not, real quick, let's go, rapid fire. Natty or not. Do, 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 do. Natty or not. Okay, now this is Nimai next to Stephen Cow. Natty or not. If you said not, correct. Do you guys get the picture? No? Okay. Hey, Anome, what's up, my dude? What are you doing here? Just a bunch of naturals, grass-fed naturals. I wonder if Anome eats meat, probably. See, now what you can do on social media is cherry pick the exact pictures and videos that you want your followers to see. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's only the highlights. Yeah, but then if you're smart, and you wanna maximize your profits or convince your followers of something, you also sprinkle in some shitty pictures of when you're off cycle or in the off season, and then you have everyone wondering, oh, like, he looks natural in this picture, and he looks on steroids in this picture. It must be lighting, pump, angles, and editing, right? I love this picture right here. Look at this one year transformation picture. Look at his back in January of 2015, versus July of 2016. Unless he went from 135 to 700 pound deadlift, there is no fucking way your back grows that much in a year and a half. You see, it's cute, it's really cute. Hashtag cue the haters. I guess I'm a hater then. And you didn't cue me, I was fucking summoned by my third eye of truth. Dude, I love being a hater, I love it. It's crucial to understand that as a natural, a well-balanced diet, including both your micro and macronutrients, vegan or omnivorous, combined with proper sleep, progressive overload strength training, is going to get you to 90% of the way towards your goals. The other 10% are acute variables that rely on the principle of specificity. What exactly is the person training for? Sports, bodybuilding, that's the difference. Unicorns aren't real, just like bodybuilders claiming natural in the IFBB with plans to compete in the Olympia. I understand the need to preach a positive message and end animal cruelty, but you can do it without being a fake natural. Who knew I just love tossing salad after all? Drifting the waves and I'm swept away.